skin and then boost it. You look like a burn victim for a day, but then it's but then it pushes. The what are you pushing into the skin, Sarah? Sarah. Sandra. Sarah. Said <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> what are you pushing into the skin? Well, you push in whatever the facialist would like to insert into your pores. But what is it? It is an extraction from a um, a a, um, a piece of skin uh, that came from a young person um, far, far away, and they somehow figured out how to extract. It's foreskin from a Korean baby. Hi. It's like. It's Look at this. Oprah's favorites. She says it's a miracle fountain of youth and her magic wrinkle cure. So I'm going to put a little on your hand. Oprah yeah, baby. Oprah did it. All right, so here, we're going to rub how, it right in. How come it's red? Which... I, I'll show you in a sec, Steve. It's made from human foreskin. <laughs> I'm sorry, Steve. You to set up here and squirt it somebody's private parts <laughs> in my damn hand. What I'm you sorry. laughing at? I'm sorry. This your last time on the show. This your last time. <laughs> Not coming up in here. and setting up in here. There were a couple protesters about it because they are cells from baby foreskin. Oh, baby foreskin. That makes it better. Yeah, that's, that's different. <laughs> I thought it was some grown-ass man. <laughs> Mesenchymal stem cells are self-renewing stem cells. The human foreskin has potential to be used as a source of stem cells. The aim of the study was to obtain spheroid formation of human foreskin cells. HNFSSC is isolated from newborn human foreskin tissue. In addition, the apoptotic and proliferative effects of a traditional plant, Corcoris oletorius L. C. oletorius, on HNFSSC spheroids were investigated. The foreskin stem cells were characterized immunocytochemically by CD45, CD34, and CD90 antibodies. Well, there you have it. Just like Nick Cannon, you know, his baby's mama's mamas, it's more about stem cells from the umbilical cord or the foreskin or whatever these Hollywood.